Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. We're shaking everybody. Good evening, good morning, whichever applies. I hope all is well and you're set to have a great sleep or a beautiful day. Okay, thanks for joining me, all of my subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys, all the love, the super thanks, the members, and everybody that um, make this possible to be a What's Shaken family. Okay, so I got some energy right here. And this is as you move forward, you know, it's some things that divine wants you to be aware of. Curses have been lifted here. Anything that's been placed on you has been removed. A lot of us have been immune to the attacks. We know what they are now. We discovered all of this together. We gained clarity in a lot of situations. So I think a lot of the text was trying to keep you confused and not knowing why you're feeling this way. But I feel like we have identified a lot of the energy transfers. We identify a lot of the chakra healings. We identify a lot of the spell work and some of the effects and everything that you go through, but also learning how to transmute that energy into something else more positive, okay? So I got Gullible Jack. This is an ancestor message. It's almost like the hangman energy, but somebody got a bullseye on their head. All right? And I see some bullet shots here on this person's body. Somebody has a bullseye on their head, okay? And also, I don't know if somebody is going to hang themselves. This is somebody who got a target on their head is what I'm seeing. And this is a message from your ancestors. Somebody could have put a hit out on this person. All right, so only take what resonates with you. All right, and um, I'm just picking up some energies from that. I don't know if somebody recently got shot. Okay, and I just see a bullseye here. Like they was, this was a hit. Um, somebody had a target, was a target. No, or this could be going on, or I already see some gunshots. Like this could have already happened. All right, so I got some energy right here, and I want to go into some positive energy because it is a tower right here. I got the hermit right here. This is um, an investigator. Somebody's in hermit mode. It could be a Virgo involved in a situation, but somebody's taking a step back um, because there could have been a tower. All right. So um, I see somebody could be older here. Somebody could have rushed into something really quick, impatiently, and somebody could have had sex on the first day. It's a car sex. Somebody could have had car sex in a car. It's a red car here. But it went too quick, and then it was over just as quick. All right? And um, this is adjustments. Somebody needs to make adjustments about their stability. Somebody is lying about their stability here. And it's like we need to set standards moving forward. We do have the help of the universe here. But somebody, we need to set standards here. What we used to allow can no longer be allowed as we move forward. So it's time to surrender and release anything of the past that's stopping you. You have to change your mindset. You have to change how you think. All right, and this is never giving up in a situation here. This is motivating yourself as you go through these different phases, you know, because you already know what's going on with the outside world, with the 3D world. Okay, so I want to um, go into the energies here. Um, it's time to cleanse yourself. Okay, and I'm going to be showing you guys a package, like I said, about cleansing yourself here. All right, this is cleaning your cleansing your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit. And everything right here and this is what I want to offer you guys for the new year a cleansing special okay and this is um, this is mental your mental state here your emotional state of being this is what you have to work on your mental the way you think all right you your own worst critic and you got to uh, focus on the way you think emotionally as well so you have a closed off heart you don't want love, but, you know, this is what you're being guided to heal from these situations. So you won't look at love as the devastating part of your life. Okay. Yeah, this is taking a, a vow. Yeah, this is marriage here. That, you know, something that you could 
block out could potentially lead to something positive such as marriage. And that's what Divine is saying, you know. And this is establishing boundaries, emotional boundaries. This is number one, a new beginning. The first step in reestablishing your heart, your emotions, your feelings, all right? And loving ourselves on all levels, no matter what it is. Making sure that you love yourself first so you can bring that love back in. And this is accepting the past for it is what it is. You have to accept that and move on so you can start being abundant. Number eight. Just abundant. It don't have to always be financially. It's just abundant in your life, the way you feel about God, the way you feel about your religion, your kids, your family. Abundant thinking, abundant mindset. All right? Holy Spirit, what are the messages for this reading right here? What do you want to share with us? Yes, the easy road. So good karma flowing into your life, a comfortable average life, making it through life unscathed. So this is the easy road. It's not always going to be an easy road. You're not always going to make it through life unscathed. And that's what divine want you to know. Some of these battles are for a reason. Okay? They're for a reason. All right? So it's answers within connecting to your higher self. That's what you were meant to do here. From your mistakes, from your learning, you're meant to connect with your higher self. This is strengthening your intuition, letting your intuition guide you. Okay? And that's funny because I, I was picking up this book right here I want to share. All right? And this is The Magic Path of Intuition. All right? So this is a book right here, and it talks to you about intuition. Okay? Okay? So this is a great little book. And I got it at Barnes & Noble. I mean, yeah, is that? Yeah, Barnes & Noble. Okay. So it's a great little book here. It's about your intuition here. And that's why Divine said, you know, as you, uh, you know, think from your higher self, your intuition starts playing out here in your life. Okay. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? You start getting answers from within. Okay. You have a level seven consciousness. You're beginning to live from spirit. You know how to heal others' pain and you connect with others emotionally. So this is what's happening here with a lot of us. And this is a number seven. This is a spiritual elder. Okay. So some of us are going to go into our spirituality and this is the way we're going to live out the rest of our life right here. Destined to become a spiritual elder. Easily discern truth from illusion and non-judgmental and unconditional love. This is what a spiritual elder uh, provides here. Non-judgmental energy, unconditional love. And just always that person like Big Mama, like Little Mama. You're spreading out love, spreading out things about religion and how to maintain a family and how to love. And that's what they do here. And that's the energy that a lot of us is going to choose the path for the rest of our life is to go down and spread this energy and love. And that's what a message is also divine sin. So we've been through a lot and we've called on, you know, spirit a whole lot, you know, in our prayers to help us take this through and return to the sender and called on everybody so divine said when things get better in your life will you still be there for me will you still call on me will you still talk to me will you still be there when things get better or do we just call divine as 911 only for emergencies only when we need god when we need you know hope and prayer is that the only time and that's what divine want us to know. Okay. So this is a level six right here. This is between worlds right now. So some of us is not sure of this journey of this mystery, but we're between worlds between the spiritual realm and between the 3d realm. All right. And some of us has mastered both of these, but we mastering it slowly with guidance from the divine. All right. So you have to master you know, both of these, but you have to stand in one, you know, one faith, you know, and this, whatever your faith is, and it's always believing in the Lord and believing in God to take us to right the, down the right road, the right direction. But it's what you're thinking, your trust, your faith, your belief. Yep. Learning lessons. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
you know, seeing the big picture, learning important lessons in life and overcoming the difficult lessons instead of being stuck in those. Okay, instead of being stuck in mistake after mistake after mistake, we have to heal, you know, and learn from the lesson, apply it to our life and move forward. Okay, and this is a level five. So this is five, six, and seven consciousness here. All right, you've given up destructive habits. You maintain balance in your life now. And this is so you can start manifesting, all right, your spiritual being now. So you can start manifesting, you know, your path, your journey. All right, so you're aware. You're at a level five, six, and seven. You're moving on up that ladder. Some of us are really still working on ourselves, but it's, you know, things that we have to still accomplish, you know, we're still working there to get accomplished here. And Divine said, all starts with self-love. No better way to get started except with self-love right here. All right? We all been battled and bruised and went through a lot of shit right here because we have legacy. We have abundance. We have to leave this for the next generation ahead. And this is what divine want us to put out is love. Learn how to love each other. Teach our family, our grandkids about love. You know, before we leave this earth, they want us to be the elders to upbring with the upbringing of our generations. So they can learn how to live in love. So they won't live in a lack mentality. So it won't be all this jealousy and envy and plots and hate. You are the legacy for your next generation. All right? You are, you know, a future ancestor to protect the next generation. Divine want us to teach about a legacy, about abundance, about beautiful things, not about sacrifices, not about struggle, not about lack, not about hate. What a message, Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes, not about being at the rock bottom all the time. And it's time to face life head on instead of being stuck here. Life path number seven, being a loner, learning how to be intelligent, intuitive, and lytical. You know, learning how to look at life as you should. This is learning. This is taking steps to get to the right path. Life path number three, creative, sharp, witty, charming, successful, learning how to express yourself. So it's all the steps that you got to go through so you can get to the right step is what I'm seeing here. And this is you've emerged as an individual. You're taking control of your own life. And this is beginning to achieve this mastery. You're beginning to achieve it. All right. You feel this energy of you something else that you're supposed to be doing in life. Okay. And this is also a meaningful marriage. This could be a union with spirit. This could be a union in reality, the 3D. But it's manifesting your true desires, your true hopes. Instead of trying to take the easy road, you got to put the work in. And that's what Divine is saying here. There's no such thing as the easy road here. So we got some good things that's coming into our life here. Let's check on that and see what's going on. Because we always know what the bullshit is. All right. I am picking up on some negative energy of somebody still trying to plot against you. You are not out the woods. Divine wants you to still be aware, okay, of what's going on in your surroundings. Somebody could also be trying to monitor your transportation heavily. Somebody is like trying to plot or meet you somewhere. You know, trying to find out what is your 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 route. Whatever you do every day, somebody's trying to find out what your route is so they can cause some type of disturbance or hold you back or block you in type of energy here. So just be careful of this energy. Somebody's trying to find out where or how you travel, what it is that you do so they can set you up here is what I'm seeing here. All right. The hacking is not over. It's definitely not over. Okay. So this is a money increase. Money is flowing. Blessings and gifts are coming to you. Okay? Somebody definitely want to stop this energy right here. All right? What else, Holy Spirit? Solutions and remedies to long-standing issues are found. A way out, and it's going to be happy endings to situations here. 
happy endings is what divine is saying right here and this is boundaries setting healthy boundaries protection demanding respect you're going to be demanding respect moving forward in your life and you are protected as you enforce your boundaries okay you are protected here and this is messages a welcome message will soon arrive some type of communication whatever this communication is some key information that you might need it also could involve a key okay what is this information what's this message so we're definitely going through transformations evolving into something new out with the old and with the new all right, so it's definitely some new energy being put out here. A lot of us are leaving the past behind as surrendered to this energy of the past. Yes, because you know your self-worth here. Accepting every aspect of you and knowing the true value of healing. All right, when you know the true value of healing, okay, you like feel more confident to move forward here. And it's about your world and your insecurities start to fall off. Okay, you get more confident within yourself. So it's also about setting these standards right here is what I'm seeing here moving forward. What is the the help messages, Holy Spirit, as we move forward? All right, this is healing moving forward here. All right, so you could have left an imprint on somebody. All right, this is a phoenix rising also. You could have left an imprint on somebody, but you also got something out of it too. All right, this is your body talk, your body language. Okay, yeah, and this is standards, setting, setting standards about your life, what you will or not accept, just like those boundaries. Don't downplay yourself, you know, you know set your boundaries. And if somebody's not on the same page that you are, it's time to move on here. Yeah. It's time to be aware about what's going on here. It's time to align with your purpose here is what divine is saying here. And it's also stay in your own lane. Don't try to compare yourself to somebody else. Don't change who you are as an individual. Stay in your own lane. This is a wild woman energy. Take me or leave me. However you are, just take me or leave me that you know who I am because you're not going to change to appease someone okay and this is yeah you're not going to be fake and put on a performance here you don't need to people please you don't need to be somebody that you're not you have to know that you are good enough in any situation okay and you don't have to be with somebody who make you feel like you're not okay yes and this is adversary being strong through the adversary through the trying times through the hard things, okay? Being strong here. Because a lot of us is very talented. We have a lot of things that's going on in our life right here. And it's time to bring out those talents. That's what Divine is saying. To stay focused here. Bring out those talents here. Yes. So it's a lot of dreamy energy going on here. This is you co-creating co with the universe. And you are, you're getting all kind of messages in your dreams about your goals and things that will help you manifest, manifest fruitation in your life, happiness, peace, abundance. All right, yeah, because things could have been hazy. All right, things could have been kind of blurry to you. It's been a lot going on and you've been picking up on a lot of negative energy. All right, so things are kind of hazy, a little wheezy. You just feel a little lost here, unfocused. And divine is picking up on this and this in your dreams. You're confused about your dreams as well. I feel like, you know, you don't know what happened. You just woke up and then you can't remember it. All right? So it's just little things like this. And you have support from the universe. You are not alone. And it's also about the way that you handle yourself. Your composure. All right, your composure here, okay? You do have support from the universe. You also could be hearing things around your home, all right? Now, you're being taunted for one, all right? From You might be hearing things around your home that sound, you know, really kind of weird, okay? 
and you go out and check all right and then also you might be hearing also your ancestors around your home you might find pennies or dimes around your home you might find a feather all right, it's something that, you know, and also if you find a pen, somebody has a message for you or you need to write a message or a letter to someone. This is what I hear. Somebody left a pen someplace around your home, a writing pen. Okay. Yeah, so it's a lot of memories here. Somebody, is, it's a lot of memories. Somebody's stuck in a lot of memories. Okay. This could be memories of you, or this is memories that maybe you had with someone because I have mourning next. Someone could have passed away. I realize that all endings are opportunities to start something new. Somebody could be mourning the loss of you. The loss of you or the loss of someone close to them is what I see here. And it's like healing from all of that. Some of us looked at this relationship as a loss. Okay, yes. And some of us are still wounded in a situation here. And if you have lost someone, you have my deepest condolences. But I would not allow toxic people, all right, from the past to ruin my future. This is you taking your power back. This is you realizing that you got wounded. It's time to mourn that situation. But it's time to move on with your life as well. Okay, and this is headspace because some a lot of us let this take up too much space in our head. We put too much time and energy and thoughts into whatever this situation was that blocked us from moving forward. It's what divine is saying here. We let it take up too much space, and now we get the enlightenment, the clarity that we needed. The light bulb finally came on. A lot of us have made a decision about where we're moving forward to. All right, this is good energy, but it's yes. And Divine said things are now crystal clear. Crystal clear, all right? And this is you trusting your intuition. It's like when you feel like shit is not right, the answer is a no. Four, four, four. Just stepped in on the clock. Look at this, two, two, two. Okay? So this is messages here. 444 and 222 is a message. All right, so just be aware of these energies and divine saying it's crystal clear to you about what's happening here. It's crystal clear. Trust your intuition as you move forward. All right, and divine is saying don't give up right here. All you need to do is keep motivating yourself, okay? Motivating yourself. Look at this. I said a feather. So this is messages. Seven is like a introspection, introspection, self, um, you know, healing, self-reflecting. And maybe that's what it's time for you to do. You might get these feathers or find a feather. That's a spirit message. Okay. Your spirit guides here. This is a dice. Okay. Somebody could have these pink dice, but one and nine is ten. It's time to close out the cycle and take a chance in another direction. All right, somebody could shoot dice also, but that's what Divine is saying here. It's time to take a chance, and this is succulents, all right? And somebody likes succulents. The yard can have a lot of succulents. This is the number 11, but this is resistance as well. It's time to resist something sweet and beautiful and succulent is what Divine is saying, okay? Holy Spirit, where is this energy here? Yes. So we need peace and we need harmony. This is what somebody wants is peace and harmony. Somebody hoping to have communication with you and they hoping that it's all about peace and harmony. All right, peace and harmony here because there definitely was a, a tower moment here. Okay, and then I got a rainbow of hope. All right, somebody could have their kids stuff all on the refrigerator here, magnets, their kids' pictures. All right, rainbow of hope. Somebody from your past, number six. Okay, so here's the tower moment here. And somebody is adjusting. Somebody's moving into relationships really quick here. And I got an older energy here that is like a um, hopeless romantic. This person could be a light-skinned light individual here. 
Yeah, and somebody wants to come in and apologize, but also somebody missed the opportunity with you. Somebody wouldn't make adjustments, and now somebody's wounded is what I see here. All right, yeah, somebody needs to have strength in the situation here. Somebody needs to heal. I feel like somebody also could be sad about a passing. It could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Yeah, something's about the Ace of Pentacles. So Divine is offering somebody a new beginning. But something also could be about a home, about some finances. Somebody could be setting up somebody here in a robbery, a plot. When I see a gun and money, you know. Okay, so something could have been going on here. I don't know if somebody got hurt in the situation right here. Yeah, and then I got Queen of Pentacles. So something's all about money. Somebody, you know, this is their happiness here. This financial status type of energy, materialistic energy. Somebody's definitely concerned about the finances, a home, some money, a bank account. Yeah. Somebody wants the money. I don't know if somebody stole this money or planning on doing this. Some type of robbery here. Because look, I get this too. You know, somebody could be drinking, but you know, this person got a gun too. So it could be a plot here or something could have taken place here and maybe didn't go as planned. All right, it could be a soulmate here. I see some more drinking. Somebody could be drinking some Jack Daniels. All right, yeah, so it's a king of cups here. Somebody could be stressed out here. Definitely about some type of money scheme or some type of money home. Loan. They said loan. Okay. And pay the sword. Somebody could be stalking. Yeah. Somebody is some money, they said. All right. Somebody could owe somebody some money. Somebody could be stalking somebody for some money. Somebody need a money, some money, and somebody could be, I don't know if they're stalking or planning on a robbery here. Somebody stressed out about something or some way to how to get money or how they got money is what I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, because now somebody could be caught up in the justice system, the legal system here. Somebody has to have a court date in regards to how they got some type of money here. All right, somebody was in and out on a situation. This is Mr. Lover Lover, you know, in and out. This is not consistent here. This is somebody who could be sleeping with their business partners and stuff type of energy here. Yeah, it's some truth going on here. So some truth came out about a situation about how somebody get their money or how somebody got their money, okay? So it's time for us to be cautious about what's going on. As we move forward, Holy Spirit, it's some truth that we need to know, okay? It's just truth that we need to know. And this is realize that you have options too and that you don't have to be someone's option. This is temptation. Don't be falling for temptation here, all right? Don't fall for temptation. What is this, Holy Spirit? All of these cards here, all right? Notice the red flags, all right? Notice the red flags here. Don't be falling for temptation because somebody is a piece of eye candy. Realize that you have options too and don't allow yourself to be an option. All right? If somebody's lost and unsure and confused about you, let them stay that way. Okay? You don't go in and be lost with them and try to convince them. If somebody act weird to you, leave their ass alone. If somebody's doing shit to confuse you and it doesn't make any fucking sense, don't try to figure it out. Move forward in your life here, okay? If somebody ghosts you, lie about shit, make plans disappear, and, you know, you don't hear from them from days or whatever, it's time to notice this red flag and leave somebody alone. This is about your self-esteem. Don't let somebody tear your self-esteem down, okay? And this is you being too immature, too green, too naive to not know what's happening in your world. It's time to take the shades off and see shit for clearly what it is. 
okay? And all this spying, somebody watching you, lurking, all right, and judging you, finding information about you, researching you so they can know how to play you. That's what Divine saying. Just be aware of those energies, okay? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that was informational for you guys because these are the things that we need to work on to heal ourselves and move forward, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.